Hi, four-year-old preschool friends. I was sitting outside today enjoying my lunch and I was listening to all the birds. Can you hear them? Well, I decided to read another story today and this one's about a bird. It's called Bird Builds a Nest by Martin Jenkins and illustrated by Richard Jones. Are y'all comfortable? Bird builds a nest. It's a beautiful day. Bird is up early. She's got a lot to do. First, she needs some breakfast. And what she wants is a nice, juicy... What do you think she wants for breakfast? Worm. She wants a nice, juicy worm. to find the best spot for you guys to see my pictures and for me to read the story. Bird pulls hard, but the worm pulls back. It's a big worm and it's strong. Too strong for Bird. Oh, this one's better. It's smaller and not as strong. Delicious. Now Bird can get on with her work. She's not looking for worms now. She needs twigs. Lots of twigs. Do you know what a twig is? It's a little stick. So she needs lots of little sticks. I wonder what she needs those for. Do you have an idea? This one is too heavy. And so is this one. All of these will do fine. Bird can carry one large twig or two medium-sized twigs or three or four small twigs, although it's hard to fit that many in her beak at once. She's building her nest. It's not quite finished though. Carefully, she pushes a twig into the side of the nest and pulls its end back out. Pushing and pulling, she gets all the twigs in place. What, what shape did she make her nest with her twigs? It's a circle. Or an oval. She works for hours, flying back and forth, fetching and carrying, pushing and pulling. Sometimes she drops a twig, but it doesn't matter. She's looking for softer things now, dried grass and feathers. They're very light. She can carry lots of these at once. She tucks them into place and turning around and around, pushing with her whole body, she makes a snug little cup, smooth and soft on the inside. She used her whole body to smooth out the inside of the nest. The nest is ready and waiting. Can you guess what they're waiting for? What do you think?
eggs. Five of them speckled and beautiful and getting ready to hatch. Can you see the five eggs? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. The end. Oh, look at all the baby birds. So I was thinking maybe you could go out in your backyard and find some things that a bird might need for a nest. The story talked about some things. They talked about twigs, which were little sticks. They talked about things that were soft, like dry grass and feathers. I wonder if you could find any of those things in your backyard and maybe set them out nicely for a bird to come and get. The birds might like that. I really enjoy watching birds um, from my house. I have a bird feeder over here. I think you can see it right, right there. I can see it from my kitchen window, so I like to watch the birds come and eat. Not too much activity going on right now. I also have this book that I like to look for what kind of birds come to my feeder. It's called Birds of Kansas. And it's got pictures in it of all the different kinds of birds you might see in Lenexa, Kansas. Seeing if I could find one. Here's a nice one. This one's called a song sparrow. I hear some birds chirping right now. I'm not sure if it's a song sparrow or not. I'll have to keep my eyes open to see. So I hope you enjoyed the story about a bird building a nest, and I hope that you can go in your backyard and find some things that um, you can put together for um, the birds that they might use. So send me pictures if you have any. I love to see them, and I'd love to see you. So have a good rest of the day. Bye.